Well, the, the, the government, of course, doesn't recognize multiple marriages. The question when it comes to welfare payments is do you get the higher single right or do you get the lower partnered right? Um, and, you know, the, you know obviously, uh, if you were in that sort of scenario and you claim to be single, uh, you would end up getting higher welfare payments, uh, all other things being equal, than you get uh, if you uh, actually appropriately declare uh, that you are in a partnered relationship. Uh, now, uh, I mean, you know, this is this story in that it, 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 the story suggests that somehow the government ends up paying more than we otherwise would, but that we're too uh, worried for political correctness reasons okay, to pursue it is but, wrong. But let me understand. Because, let me understand this though. It is true though, isn't it, that the government, uh, if you are paying welfare benefits to a family of one man and, for example, three wives, you are paying more than you yeah. would to another family with one wife and one husband. You don't pay uh, welfare payments to a family. You pay welfare payments to an individual, and the eligibility is assessed on an individual basis. I mean, so when it comes to various, uh, you know, uh, payments in relation to children, for example, it depends. I mean, they are, they are payments in relation to the children. If it goes into relation to individuals, the question is, do you get the higher right because you're single, or do you get the lower right uh, because uh, you are part of a relationship? Now, uh, the proposition that somehow we should be paying the higher right, uh, no matter what, um, you know, is obviously a, a false proposition.